Okay, welcome back. It is Journeyman2 here, and we're going to continue our Domino Expert Next Evolution run through with the second scenario on the run. A couple things to mention from the first video. It looks like we only missed one retaliate on each Warlock, Morlock, so we overcorrected for that a little bit. I mentioned the campaign side scheme gets you any ally, but it's only allies of three cost or less from your deck or discard. And we probably could have won a turn sooner by swapping strength on top of the deck um, or even shooting the pistol first and then swapping strength on top of the deck for luck be a lady and that probably would have won us a turn sooner i also want to shout out man is obsolete who pointed out to me that we could have gotten one domino's pistol off of um off of our environment instead of probability field because we were exhausted and we didn't even defend to use probability field in the villain phase, so that extra pistol damage would have gone a little bit farther than probability field on turn one. So I think that was a good line of play correction. And now we're gonna jump into scenario two. So scenario two, we're gonna get one of the villains that we did not defeat in scenario one. So we did defeat Vertigo, Blockbuster, and Harpoon. And I'm okay with this because Harpoon and Vertigo, I think are two of the more difficult on the run villains um, even if Blockbuster is one of the easier ones, in my opinion, for Domino. So we have four options for Villain for this scenario, and we're going to have Riptide. So Riptide, when he attacks, places three on the main and one on each side scheme, or he gets plus two attack with ranged and piercing, and he's going to start with 12 hit points. We don't need these villains. We don't need these villains. And we're going to remove the Riptide minion from the encounter deck. shame because he's one of the easier ones there. Add our obligation. Uh, we have mutant slayers, military grade, nasty boys, standard expert in there. Put a random marauder villain into play, remove the minion with the same name from the encounter deck, attach hope's captor. So we did that. Hope's captor here. When the villain would attack you, if a marauder millin, uh, minion is engaged with you, the villain schemes instead. And then when we defeat the villain, it's going to flip. And each Marauder minion gains steady, and the villain is also going to gain steady on Expert. And when we reveal this, each player searches the encounter deck for Marauder minion and puts into play engage with them, starting with one threat. And I already have a good idea of who I want to start with. I think we're going to start with a Vertigo. Only four hit points, one zero, with a negligible ability. We're going to start with Mission Preps, which means Scrambler goes into the Encounter deck. And then our second campaign side scheme is going to be Prepared Defenses to get us that plus one and Retaliate. And that means that this Under Pressure side scheme is going to go into the Encounter deck. And I think we have completed setup. Oh, uh, actually, no, we have one more campaign thing. Because we rescued two Morlocks, we're going to get to start with two cards in hand. And because we have an environment, every enemy is going to gain a tough status card. So Vertigo and Riptide, both with tough. We're going to start with two cards that we pick out. We'll go with Professor X and Jackpot. Where's Jackpot? There we go. And even though the villain is steady, if we Professor X turn one, we will half confuse, and then maybe a later make the call will full confuse. Let's go ahead and, oh man, Beast Jackpot, Adam Warlock, and Genius. Jesus. Okay. So, Jackpot and a good workout for Beast gets us back Jackpot. Jackpot for Professor X gets us half a Confuse onto Riptide. We're going to swap Genius for Jackpot and then play Adam Warlock. And next turn, we can swap Jackpot back into our hand. I'm wondering how safe it is for us to stay down. Let's see, adding three, four plus a boost. It, advance is scary. Oh, we should mission prep here. Get our two cost upgrade or less. 
and I want to get probability field. Sorry, man is obsolete. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna start with it and see where that gets us. Um, maybe we flip up. We don't really want a probability field actually because we don't want to cover jackpot up. We don't want to chump with Professor X. Oh, he's going to cover jackpot up anyways. So yeah, we may as well flip up here. So Professor X will thwart three off of prepared defenses. Um, let's have Adam ping that. So we have a permanent plus one defense and retaliate. We'll have Beast ping the tough onto Vertigo. And then let's attack Vertigo with probability field. That's going to be four damage, which clears Vertigo. So at least now Riptide won't be scheming against us. Okay. One threat comes on the main. Riptide is going to be attacking. We can either place three threat on the main, which we don't like, or plus two attack, ranged, piercing. We'll give him the plus two. So we're swinging for four. We could defend. I do have that retaliate. Let's go ahead and Professor X. So he's swing for four, plus two more, that's six. Professor goes away. If we get another attack card, we can defend. And assaults, there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, did we call that or what? Okay, so we'll give him the plus two again, and this time we will defend. We'll use probability field, discarding innovation. So we're defending for five, he's attacking for four and a boost. Zero, so we defended everything. Sorry, five and a boost. Six and a boost. So we would have, we would have, uh, we, were, we defended for six, he attacked for four, so we defended all of it. And then the retaliate pings the tough. Okay, back to the player phase. I like a lot of our hand here. We can clear call for backup, get Professor X back, flip down, do shenanigans. Let's go ahead and swap the top card. Oh, pistol. Well, we will energy for a pistol, and then we will fire that pistol into Outlaw for two damage. I don't know if we're going to get Painted Lady. Well, if we call for backup for Gamora, Gamora could hit a Digging Deep for us, and then that Digging Deep plays Painted Lady does cost us our Professor X confused, but I think we have all three make the calls coming up still. We sure do. So let's go ahead and get our call for backup out here. Beast will take two off of it. Uh, do we want to discard Painted Light? I don't think so. We're going to clear that. We're going to gamble this all. Go for Gamora. Where is she at? Now, do we thwart, or we may as well just keep the main safe for now. Going for an event, ding deep, ding deep. Okay, well, luck be a lady. Maybe we do this instead of painted a lady. Luck be a lady can heal Adam Warlock, so let's do that. We'll play luck be a lady, discard the top card, it is digging deep. We're going to get to choose two of these things. We could heal both Gamora and Adam Warlock here. I mean, six damage on Riptide is six damage on Riptide. But let's, uh, I think this, this game will go a little bit long. So let's just keep everybody healed. We could hold the Digging Deep to swap it to the top of our deck. But we probably have a good chance of drawing one as well. So let's not hold this already. Draw five cards, one threat on the main. Riptide is attacking. We will give him plus two. Defend. Probability field. Hits make the call, so we're defending for five. He's attacking for four, five, six, seven. We take two damage. He takes one from Retaliate, and our encounter card is Assault. I think this time we're going to 
throw beast in the way, plus two attack with ranged and piercing. Oh, you know what? We gave him ranged. So he should still... So we retaliated against him twice. The first attack with pistol should have just pinged his tough, and that's the only time we've hit him. So he's still at max health. Alright, this is our boost card against beasts. And back to us. Let's go ahead and swap White Fox to the top. And then we will pistol him with White Fox. Put her into play. Pistol does one damage. And now we can make the call for Professor. Maybe not just yet. We'll White Fox for one. Let's Gamora into Riptide. See what that gets us. Gets us a Digging Deep. If we had Painted Lady, Stashing Weapon X would be perfect. So maybe we flip down and get Weapon X back before we play Professor. I like that, that line. We'll swap a good workout for Weapon X. We can go ahead and play that Weapon X. I don't know if there's any identity-specific cards left. Let's count real quick. One, two, three in hand. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I guess there's two left. Do we have Diamondback or Outlaw? Nope. Pip the Pug. Oh, we could get Pip, and he would be playable. So let's go ahead and Weapon X and try to hit Pip here. Oh my gosh. Okay, right place, right time. We'll play Pip. We will... Yes, make the call using make the call and strength for Professor X. So actually, White Fox should have dealt the damage to Riptide instead of removing the threat. White Fox will go away. Professor X will clear the main. And then we can add a Morlock, discarding this Wild. Deal 3 damage to him or heal 3 damage from us. Let's go ahead and heal 3 damage from us and one damage from Adam, and then Pip will put Jackpot back on top. And we can get into some Jackpot shenanigans next hand. Okay, we are going to get an encounter card. One threat on the main. Oh, he's full confused. So that confused falls off. Two cards. Side scheme. Bushwhack. When defeated, the player who defeated this game searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Marauder minion and puts that minion into play engaged with them. Only one threat. And then our obligation. What a great time to pull it. <clears throat> so exhaust your identity. We will exhaust. And then that gets discarded, not removed from the game. We'll go ahead and weapon X because we need stuff to spend our money on. Oh, Diamondback right away. We will digging deep for X gene. We can spend jackpot for Diamondback. Use Pip to put jackpot on top of the deck. Yeah, I don't see a good way for us to swap the top discard. There isn't really anything we need to swap for. Oh, Professor X. Hold on. Let's roll this all back. Professor X is in our discard. We drew diamond back off weapon X. Okay. So we can swap something for the prof. We don't need a lot of thwart right now. So let's swap right place, right time. And then we can jackpot for Professor. 
get another half confuse out. Use pip to put jackpot on top of the deck. Digging deep for X gene. And we're gonna get we're gonna get a good Adam Warlock play in here. I hope I didn't miss anything. But we will swap digging deep to the top, get back jackpot. And we can use pistol. Or do we want to clear this and then clear the minion? Maybe that's better. Let's have Professor X clear the side scheme. The player who defeated it searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Marauder minion and puts that minion into play engaged with them. Let's grab one of the weak ones. We'll just grab Vertigo right back. Or sorry, not Chimera, Vertigo. Okay. And we want to get um, we want to get that digging deep back into hand. So we will pistol into Vertigo. Get sticking deep. Puts two damage onto Vertigo. Power in all of us and digging deep. We'll play Diamondback. We'll override the Professor. And now because Jackpot is the last card in our hand, we can use Adam Warlock, thwart the main scheme, or let's have him deal one damage to Vertigo instead. And he's going to discard Jackpot, so we get everything from it. Heal three from an identity, remove three from a scheme. So there was one, we remove that. And then deal three damage to an enemy. It's not an attack, so not blocked by guard. So we will deal three to Riptide, get him down to four. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and diamond back. Discard the top card. Sharpshooter, so one to everything. And then Gamora will attack for two, get him teed up. Unfortunately, we buried Jackpot a little bit, but uh, free damage is free damage. One threat on the main, he is attacking, plus two with ranged and piercing for some threats. We're going to defend it again, probability field. So we've got five defense, four attack, seven attack. So two damage. He did have range, so no retaliate. And then gang up. He's attacking again. Maybe we put Diamond back in the way for this one. Because there's not a lot of minions out for her effect. We have Outlaw in hand anyways. So we'll defend. Plus two, 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 so that's six. No overkill. And uh, yeah, player phase. Do we want to swap the top? Maybe we should pop him first. Can't remember if he gets stalwart on the next stage, but we may as well pop him and see what Gamora gets us. So we'll swing. And that defeats him. When the villain would be defeated, reset the hit points and flip it and reveal it. So his hit points go back up to 12. We flip this. He gets another 6 hit points. Up to 18. Advance the main scheme to stage 2A. He has plus 1 scheme, plus 1 attack. When he would attack us if we're engaged with the Marauder minion, schemes instead. Stage 2A. When revealed, each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for Marauder minion and puts that minion into play engaged with them. Give each Marauder enemy a tough status card. We might even get Blockbuster here. And flip down with his zero, <laughs> his zero scheme. 
Each Marauder minion gains guard and steady. In expert mode, the villain gains steady. Starts with one, goes up by two per player. So yeah, let's go ahead and see if we have Blockbuster. Or is it worth getting Blockbuster if we can kill it with um, Pistol and Atom? Now I think we want to flip down. So Zero Scheme Marauder is what we are looking for here. Let's see, Marauder is at five, Harpoon's at five. I'll grab Blockbuster, because giving him a tough isn't the worst thing. And let's make the call for Professor X. First we'll Pistol. Two damage. Get rid of that tough. Mm, would have liked to get that look, B-Lady. We should have swapped the top card first. It may as well a good workout instead of outlaw. So that's a good workout. Let's see what this gets us, digging deep. So that will just take care of Blockbuster anyways. And then we can make the call for Strength and Outlaw. Get back Professor X. We could also just spend Adam, but we can't control him. Can't control the way to dis discards unless it's the last card in our hand. So I like this line. Now we will add him. He will attack to ping the tough and discard digging deep. So we get to choose one of the above. We are going to deal three damage. And I think next turn might be the win. Let's flip down. We can weapon X. Oh, pistol. Nice. Let's go ahead and Pip the Pug, jackpot on top. Okay, one threat on the main, or sorry, two threat on the main. He is full confused. Mm -hmm. Full confused. And our encounter card is gonna be get nasty. Each minion gains plus one attack. When revealed, place one threat here for each minion in play, two threat instead for each nasty boy. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a nasty boy minion and reveal it. So no extra threat. We do get to pick our nasty boy. Not a marauder this time. When revealed, stun each character. We don't like that. Toughness. Retaliate one teamwork for hit points. We're gonna grab Ramrod. Because I think he's the easiest one for us to step right over. Each Marauder minion gains guard, but not nasty boys, so he does not have guard. And I think we've got plenty of damage to win here. Presser X is in the discard now. We could make the call for someone, I and mean, we could make the call for Gamora. I don't think there's anyone in our discard we want to make the call for. I mean, Diamondback, Adam Warlock are both good, but Gamora is card draw. So let's have Gamora attack for two. She will discard cards until we get an event. If the game wants to collaborate. If we have any events left. White Fox comes into play. Oh, we didn't have any events. Get ourselves an encounter card. She is in the discard. But we can make the call. Using this and Painted Lady. So we're not going to actually get use out of Painted Lady this game. And now let's Gamora again for two. Make the call again. We will White Fox for one. And I feel like we have so much damage here. Let's Weapon X. Okay. 
So a good workout with jackpot is going to deal seven, and then we got double pistol. So we have it in different area codes. So let's do two for the pistol. Flip up. I don't even think we need to pip. Or I guess we could have played pistol with jackpot and then used pip to put it on top of the deck. Flip up. We'll fire pistol for three damage. That's seven. We can swap digging deep to the top. <laughs> Two digging deeps. Uh, we will go ahead and X gene and lucky break for this good workout, which will get us digging deep and six damage. We could make the call for Diamondback if she's in there. Nope. So we will pistol again for one damage. Maybe we get lucky and we can kill the minion, get a nice clear board. Yep. Okay. Well, I hope this was a good uh, example of how to play against on the run. Even though we had steady villains, we were able to confuse and flip down, I think, two times, maybe three times. And uh, yeah, you can just completely ignore those nasty boys towards the end of the game. But the teamwork can be nasty if they uh, hit us early game. All right, I will see you in game three for Juggernaut. Let me know if you caught any misses in this video. And enjoy playing Marvel Champions.